In this video, we're going to look at how to graph a linear inequality in two variables. So first, let's think about what these words mean. So we have uh, linear and inequality are two big vocabulary words here. So when we talk about a linear equation, we're talking about an equation in the form y that can be placed in the form y equals mx plus b, whose graph is a line. When we're talking about an inequality, we're talking about less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to. So a linear inequality is going to not have an equal sign here. It's going to have one of our inequalities in here, all right? Less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to. So how do we graph the solutions to that? So let's look at an example. Let's say we have the linear inequality y is less than 3 fifths x plus 2. All right, well, if we had the equation y equals 3 fifths x plus 2, we know all the solutions to that equation are going to lie on this line. All right, now you've got multiple ways to graph a line. I'm going to do it by slope and y-intercept. So the y-intercept of this line is 2. In other words, if x is 0, y is 2. So I know that's a point on my line. And the slope here is 3 fifths. So from the point 0, 2, I'm going to go up 3 over 5 and make a point, and then I'm going to connect those two points to graph the line. So something like that, okay? So every point on this orange line right here, or red, whatever it looks like to you, every point on this line is a solution to y is equal to 3 fifths x plus 2. Now over here with this inequality, we want to know where are y values less than the output 3x plus 2, okay? So if we think about where the y value would be less than that, we know that the y-axis is here, and the higher up we go, the higher the y value, the lower we go, the lower the y value, all right? So it, let's say we know when x is 0, y equals 2. Well, let's say I had the point 0, 1. All right, and I'm going to plug that into my inequality. I'm going to put 1 in for y, and I'm going to put 0 in for x. Okay, and so I get 1 is less than 0 plus 2, which is 2. This is a true statement. So that tells me that the point 0, 1 is a solution to this inequality because it makes it true. So any point that makes this statement true is a solution. All right, so 0, 1 is a solution. How about 0, 0? Would 0, 0 be a solution? Sure, right? Because I'd plug 0 in for y, I'd plug 0 in for x. So 0, 0 is a solution. And we can see that, as a matter of fact, any, any y value under here is going to be a solution. And similarly, we could do that for any of these x values over here. And what you're going to find is that all the solutions are either going to lie above this line or below this line. And so what you need to do is just test a point. So all this shading that I'm doing, every point in this shaded region should make our inequality true. And if you test a point and you see that that makes the inequality true, then every point on that side of the line will also make the inequality true. Um, let's say I tested a point up here. Let's, what is this point? Uh, 5, 8. This is the point 5, 8. So if I plug that into my inequality, all right, we have, um, I'm going to put 5 in for y, or excuse me, 8 in for y, and 5 in for x. And you see if you work this out, these 5s are going to cancel, and you would get the statement 8 is less than Five. Well, that's false. Okay, so that's not a solution. As a matter of fact, every point above this line is not a solution to the inequality, and every point below the line is a solution. Now, the line itself is acting as a boundary. The points on the line are not solutions. Let's take the point 0, 2. Okay, so what if I let 
um, x equals 0 and y equal 2, that point is on my line. If I put 2 in for y and 0 in for x, I get the statement 2 is less than 2. Right? So that's 0. I get 2 is less than 2. That's false. 2 is not less than 2. So it is not a solution. But the line is acting as a boundary. So the way that we signify that is we use a dotted line. So we're going to go dot, dot, dot. So you always want to graph this line first. okay? And then if you have a less than or a greater than, you're going to use a dotted line because you don't want to include the solutions. Uh, you don't want to include the points on the line as part of your solution. If your inequality is less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, you're going to use a solid line. And then you have to figure out your shading. All right, let's look at another example. Maybe you can grab a piece of paper and pencil and try one. Why don't we try y is greater than or equal to negative 1 half x plus 4. All right, why don't you pause the video and try that, and then unpause the video when you're ready to take a look at the solution. All right, how'd you do? Your graph should look like this. So you've got your line. Um, that's your y-intercept. So always start by graphing the line. So first step, you're going to graph the linear equality. All right, I'm going to just graph this line. So I have a y-intercept of 4 and a slope of negative one half, so I'm going to go down one over two, down one over two, there's my line. Now because I have greater than or equal to, the solution is going to include the points on the line, so I make my line a solid line. Now for a test point, uh, a lot of people like to use the point zero zero, but you could use whatever point you want. So if I um, next do my test point, Pick a point on one side of the line. If I do 0, 0, I put 0 in for y. I put 0 in for x. And I get the statement that 0 is greater than or equal to 4. And that is false. So that means that every point on this side of the line is not a solution. And every point up here is a solution. Now, of course, I, I stopped shading here where my graph ended. But like this would go forever. And this is called a half plane, all right? These, these solutions lie in this half plane. The plane is a flat surface, and we are kind of cutting it in half along this line, and our solutions lie on this part over here. All right, let's look at a couple uh, interesting examples. Um, remember now, if you have a solu uh, some linear inequality, something like, say, 2x minus 3y is less than or equal to 6. Say something like that. Now, you might want to put this in slope-intercept form before you start graphing it. So remember, uh, with inequalities, if we move our 2x over here, and we have negative 3y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 6, then we're going to divide everything by negative 3. Remember, you need to flip this inequality if you're multiplying or dividing by a negative. All right, so my suggestion would be to uh, put this in slope-intercept form first, then graph your line. All right, so we have a y-intercept of negative 2. We have a slope of up 2 over 3, up 2 over 3. I have an equal there, so it's going to be a solid line, not a dotted line. I pick a test point. Let's pick 0, 0 because the numbers are nice. But again, if you want to get exciting, you can pick whatever you want. We'll put 0 in for x and 0 in for y. And we get the statement 0 is greater than or equal to negative 2. Uh, that's false. So my solutions are, um, oh, sorry, that's true. 0 is greater than negative 2. All right, I'm awake. 0 is greater than. Uh, negative 2. So that means my solutions are going to lie on the in the half plane that includes the point 0, 0. And I could extend my line down there. And I'm going to grab This is kind of the tough part when you're um, doing this on paper. You just, a lot of people take their pencils 
and a, um, sorry, I went below my line there a little bit. Let me try to erase that. All right, that's better. A lot of people take their pencils and they, and they do like this, just kind of shading it like that because, you know, I'm using a highlighter, which is cool. You could use a highlighter as well and then extend this line down. All right, what if we have something like y is less than 4? Why don't you pause the video and think about that for a second? How would we graph the solutions to y is less than 4? All right, well, if we follow the same idea we did before, the first thing we would want to do is graph the line y is equal to 4. Now, since this doesn't have an equal to part here, we're going to graph it as a dotted line. So remember, y is equal to 4 is a horizontal line through 4. These are all the points on this dotted line have a y coordinate of 4. Now we want to shade all the points where the y value is less than 4. So any point under here would have a y value less than 4. All right. Last one, what if we have something like x is, oh, let's get kind of tricky here just for fun. How about x is greater than or equal to negative 2 and less than 5? Where would all the points in the plane be that have an x coordinate, all right? This x coordinate has to satisfy this, greater than or equal to negative 2, less than 5, and y can be anything. Could you shade all those points? Why don't you pause the video and give that a try and unpause it when you're done to reveal the solution. Did you get this? Here we have the solutions. All right, so I'm graphing the line x is equal to negative 2 right here. That's this line. And this line is x is equal to 5. But I made that dotted because I have less than or equal to. So any point in this shaded area, let's pick a point. How about this point? What is the coordinates of this point? Is 1, negative 4. So that point, 1, negative 4, 1 is greater than negative 2, greater than or equal to negative 2, and less than 5, and y can be anything it wants. So therefore, it is a solution to that inequality. All right, well, I hope this video helped with graphing linear inequalities in two variables.